Batman. Mighty Lone Defender of Justice, hiding his true identity as Clark Kent, reporter on the Daily Planet. Barry White, arriving in Stone Ridge in search of Kent and Lois, pays a surprise visit to Cass Stryker and receives shocking news. Mayor White, I... I hardly know how to tell you this. Tell me what. Come on, come on, man. Out with it. Uh, there's been a bad log jam in the river, and some of the logs swept up on the bank of the site of an old timber camp. One of the shacks was completely demolished. Well, what about it? Mayor White, Kent and Miss Lane were last seen in that shack. Searching for a solution to the secret of Stone Ridge, Clark Kent and Lois Lane finally located Ralph Marlowe in a deserted logging camp where he had been kept prisoner by Matt Golden, Cass Stryker's right-hand man. Ralph surprisingly defended Stryker, claiming that he was being double-crossed by Golden. However, in finding Ralph, the two reporters walked into a trap, and now, bound with strong rope, they listened to the sounds of advancing destruction as hundreds of logs sweep down the river, bringing swift, crushing death. Here they come! In a minute, they'll pile into the block Golden built and come shooting up the bank into this shack. Then, it's the end for us. Kent, who up to this minute had been searching for some way of saving Lois and Ralph without divulging his true identity of Superman, has finally come to a decision. I can't wait another second. Keeping my secret means they're alive, so it's time for Superman to take over. But even as he snaps his bonds and resumes his true identity of the Man of Steel, hundreds of massive logs smash into the walls of the flimsy shack. The structure trembles violently and then collapses under the crushing weight and Ralph and Lois disappear in a mass of wreckage. Ah! Sick with fear at the thought that his delay may cost their lives, Superman tears into the debris. Foot logs are tossed into the air as though they were kindling wood. Beams are splintered like matchsticks as the man of steel clears the wreckage, but to his utter amazement, Lois and Ralph are nowhere to be found. Great Scott, what in the world has happened to them? They were here when the shack came in. How could they have. Why, that's Ralph's voice. Now, where is he? Ah! I see him now, he's in the river. Up! Up! And away! Hang on, Ralph! I'm coming! All right, now, take it easy. I've got you. Gosh, how did you get here? Never mind that now. Where's Miss Lane? Ah, there she is. Next to those logs that spilled over the dam. Save her! Superman, save her! Hang on, Ralph! Away! Oh, my gosh! Don't be frightened. Who's frightened? This is terrific. Here we are. Go, get her. Quick, Superman. That log's awfully close. I have her. Oh, up, up. Only just in the nick of time, Superman. I hope Miss Lane isn't hurt. Let's see now. Wait, Superman. Mr. Kent was in the shack, too. We've got to get him. Uh, why, uh, I've already taken care of him. He's safe. Now we've got to take care of Miss Lane. Away! Up from the swirling waters and the madly dancing logs, the man of steel carries the awestruck Ralph Marlowe and the unconscious Lois Lane. Then, down to a smooth patch of grass high on the bank, well clear of the torrent of wood and water in the river. Gosh, Superman, it all happened so quickly, and it seems so easy to you to fly. I hope it's going to be as easy to bring Miss Lane round. Uh, we make her comfortable first. She doesn't look so good. Uh, there doesn't seem to be any sign of a bad blow. Probably mostly shock. Is there anything I can do? Uh, yes, perhaps if you could get some water. All right. I'll see if there's a tin or something. All right. But watch yourself. Those logs are still piling up. Don't worry, Superman. Uh, Ralph, forget about the water. She's coming round. Uh, take it easy, Miss Lane. Her eyes are flickering. Yes, Ralph, I think she'll be all right. What happened? Where am I? You're all right, Miss Lane. You're on the bank of the river. It was a miracle, Miss Lane. The shack was knocked into the river and then Superman came along and saved us. Superman? Oh, I knew you'd help us if you could. But, Superman, you said Mr. Kent was safe. Where is he? Uh, 
Well, I, I don't know. He, he was a little dazed. Perhaps I'd better look for him. Want me to come along? No, no, that won't be necessary. You stay here with Miss Lane. And don't get too close to the river. As a matter of fact, I think I'd better break up that log jam here and now. Well, watch yourself, Superman. Those logs are tricky. <laughs> I think I can manage. I'll see you later. So long. Goodbye, Superman. Up! Up! And away! Gosh, what a man. I never thought I'd meet him face to face like this. He's a wonderful person, man. I'll bet. But, but look at him. He's actually breaking up that log jam. And it's so easy for him. Easy? Why, he tosses those logs around as if they were toothpicks. There. The logs are rolling smoothly downstream again. And to think sometimes it takes the Tim of hours to clear away a jam like that. Ralph, slip behind these trees. What? There's a car coming. It may be Matt Goulden. Hurry. Now, look. It's Cat Striker. Right, now. Then run, quickly. He won't hurt us. Honestly, he won't. Who's that with him? Lois. Why? Lois. It's Perry White. Ah, Lois, my dear, I thought you were dead. Ralph, Miss Lane, what happened? Everything's all right now, Chief. We're perfectly safe. But where's Kent? He isn't... Uh... No, sir. Superman said he's all right. He's gone after you. Superman? Yes, he saved our lives. But, Chief, what are you doing here? Well, I hadn't heard from you, so I decided to come up to Stone Ridge myself and see what was going on. I looked up Mr. Stryker here and... Lois! Lois! Here comes Mr. Kent now. Lois! Lois, are you all right? Yes, Clark, but what happened to you? Oh, uh, I was not clear. Chief, what are you doing here? Well, what are you doing here? Yes, that's what we'd like to know, Kent. Matt Goulden phoned me and told me you were swept into a river by a log jam. Oh, he did, did he? Wait a minute, Lois. When did he phone you, Mr. Stryker? Oh, about 15 minutes ago, I'd say. Mayor White was in my office at the time, so we came straight out here. 15 minutes ago, eh? Mr. Stryker, 15 minutes ago, that shack was still standing. The logs hadn't even reached this part of the river. What? It's true, Kess. But Matt told me he'd seen you go into the shack, and before he could warn you, it was carried away. And he didn't say a thing about your being here, Ralph. <laughs> of course he didn't. Do a few things start to make sense now, Mr. Stryker? Oh, I, I, I don't know. I'm confused. I don't know what to think. Start adding up, Mr. Stryker. Somebody tried to force us out of town when we first arrived. Somebody led the raid on Howard Nash's newspaper. Somebody tried to run over Ralph, and now someone tried to kill the three of us. You said you'd get the guilty man, Mr. Stryker. Seems to me you don't have to look far. Matt Golden, why, it doesn't make sense. Why, I've known Matt for years. I, I trust him. He's certainly been taking advantage of that trust. Cass, you've got to believe them. Matt took me out of the hospital and kept me a prisoner here. Well, Mr. Stryker, what are you going to do now? You'll see. Come on, all of you. Get into my car. Stone Ridge is going to be cleaned up and no delay. Kent and Lois exchange smiles as they follow Stryker to his car. Now, at last, something is to be done, even though they still don't know who is behind Matt Goulden. So far, their unknown enemy has proved himself to be very clever. Can they be sure he has no hidden ace up his sleeve? Still bewildered by the rapid turn of events, Stryker questions Kent. When did you know that Matt was doing all these things? From the very beginning, Mr. Stryker. After all, we saw him at the station and later on at the newspaper office. Well, why didn't you tell me then? Well, Mr. Stryker, you weren't exactly friendly. And frankly, since he was your right-hand man... We couldn't be sure that he wasn't operating under your orders. Oh, yes, of course, of course. Well, uh, I apologize for what I said this morning after the meeting. I was wrong. Wrong about a great many things. We've already forgotten that. But listen here, Stryker. What about those meetings at the high school? Well, what are you going to do about them? Stop them at once, if I can. Won't there be trouble? After all, you supposedly started them. Uh, the people are all behind me. When I talk to them, they'll put the pressure on the school board to stop the whole thing. Hey, Kess. Look at the crowd in front of your office. Hmm, what's that? What, what's going on now? I don't see Matt Goulden around. I don't like this. They look ugly. Perhaps something's happened. We'll soon find out. Come on. Good heavens, listen to them. Why, why they're furious. Don't move away, Lois. Or you either, Ralph. What is this? I don't know. Here comes a policeman. Mr. Stryker. What is it, Bailey? Why is everybody here? They've read the papers. Mr. Stryker, you'll have to come with me. Come with you? Oh, why? I have a warrant for your arrest. My arrest? What are you talking about, Mary? You'll find out down at the courthouse. 
Come on now, Mr. Stryker. I don't want any trouble. But look here, Bailey. I... Yeah, you'd better go, Stryker. You know, this crowd looks as if it would riot in a minute. Well, I... Well, we'll, uh, we'll see you later. Clark, what is it? Hold on a minute, and I'll find out. Excuse me. May I borrow your paper for a minute? Thanks. What's it say, Mr. Kent? What's it say? Great Scott, look at the headline. Cass Stryker guilty of theft. What? Stonebridge Examiner offers proof of misappropriation of official funds. Demands arrest of Cass Stryker. Aghast, eyes wide with amazement, Kent and Lois stare at the black headlines which blare a damaging accusation. Is this true? Have they all been tricked by Cass Stryker, or is this the ace up their unknown enemy's sleeve? Listen to this, Lois. Look at the headline. Cass Stryker guilty of theft. Stonebridge Examiner offers proof of misappropriation of official funds. Demands arrest of Cass Stryker. Our story nears its action-packed climax in the next thrilling episode of Superman! Superman!